ready to battle for the ultimate prize as the best team in Zambia, in West Africa, Nigeria, and Burkina Faso. That's the locker room of the Nigerians. Williams and Abubakar Abdullah Idris, who scored in the last game in attack for the Nigerians. Yeah. Here comes the captain, Farouk, who goes back to Yamiogo. Now Kampar is balling. It's Nigeria now. Idris, Abubakar Abdullah Idris with a left footer drive going outside for a goal kick. Yeah, this is why these are the two, two of the best teams in the competition. Both of them going for it. Ubaka Idris has been picked by his captain right on the edge of the box. First start takes the ball backwards a bit, but he still has space to... Lawali. Idris. Lawali. The foul against Nigeria. Idris. Yeah, I think it's what Aruna Watara who's Emmanuel Michael with a cross. And here is Idris. Idris! His effort is blocked by Kampari. It is. Precious William have drifted wide, and Idris has come narrow and come to the striking row. Shifts the ball to his left and gets the effort. And we were all blocked by the defenders. To find Emmanuel Michael. Michael whips in a cross. And it's a beautiful goal. Nigeria are up by 1 0. Abubakar Abdullah Idris. Wonderful cross from Emmanuel Michael and a pinpoint header from Abu Bakr Abdullah Idris and the Golden Eagles are up by 1 0. Brilliant goal. Yeah, that's the word. It's a brilliant goal. This is a really brilliant goal. It is. And the, the ball gets to Michael some way, somehow. But you think, again, they have, they've, they've done what they can to clear their lines. But Nigeria straight away are right back at them, and Michael is the one who picks the ball. And whips a delightful ball right into the path of Idris. There is no way in a million years it's missing that. It's on the plate. It's a pitch of a cross. It's an absolute pitch. Puts it right on his head. And all he Nigeria still brimming with confidence. It's a lovely play from Idris. Good touch from Idris. Here comes Aziz. Jubril Aziz. And Idris can score after being set up gloriously by Aziz. Here is the ball over the top by Ebubu Okere and Idris is off his line. Ball came off his midriff. Yeah, you can see in his midriff that's where the ball came off him. He's lucky because he was trying to shoot. Ebube Okere and Abdullahi unable to score Idris. Idris Abdullahi goes for power from the distance. Yawali swings the ball in, there's a header, and this is a third goal. Abdullah Idris, beautiful connection, well taken. Plenty of minutes to be played, but the ball into the box is a really good one. And Abdullah Idris right on cue to apply the header into the back of the net, but the defendant needs questioning for from Cote d'Ivoire. How on earth was he left in those acres of space right into his back? You know, Idris' his boy is over the top for him. His first touch is actually almost perfect if the defender doesn't recover to take the ball. Goes for goal, but it's straight to Traore who makes a mistake. And the Nigerians have their second goal. It is Abu Bakar, Abdullahi, Idris with his double for Nigeria and hands them the lead. What a mistake by Isidori Traore. He's been consoled by Campari. Wow. The fans absolutely loving it. What a start to the second half for Nigeria. What a big, big start. Their lead is restored. It's actually a disaster for Burkina Faso's goalkeeper. But a huge pile of joy for Nigeria. The conditions are not perfect because it's the ball is quite slippery, but he doesn't really get his full body behind the ball to make the catch. It bounces off his body and presents itself to Idris who gambles to the near side. Just... Abu Bakr Abdullah Idris is chasing for his third. He has already scored three goals in this competition. He scored Bata. Brilliant. Ten. Good pass. Here is Idris. Nearly got his hat trick. 
but this time Traore will get it right it's an exceptional move there from Mbata Mbata another lovely ball from Basel Mbata here is as Idris and again on his left and Aziz is our Idris as I say is our rival but just drags his effort they're having to show how good they can be defensively they've got two strikers they've got two midfielders they've got two powerful wingers and now it's time for Nigeria to find the answers to all the questions here. The danger for Nigeria now is that they are two goal hero. Abu Bakar Abdullah Idris is being taken off on the stretcher. He's in pain. And I think that Nigeria's Abdullah Idris can't continue. He's, uh, he's not moving too freely. And maybe then like EK takes his place and the captain comes wide. Oh, and that's it. The final whistle of God, Nigeria, our champions. They were losing finalists last year in Togo, but they won the competition in grand style in Ghana. The Golden Eagles, the most successful under 17 team in the world, have won the Wafu Zombie Championship under the floodlights in the coastal city of Cape Coast in the central region of Ghana. Full-time Nigeria. Imagine champions, the beaten Burkina Faso. Same backline throughout the entire competition yeah. and never put a foot wrong. Yeah, they were so good. It was difficult for any of the backups to break into the side. And this boy, the man in the number four, as you see there, Mbata. Mbata. He just got into the team and he made them take. Abu Bakar Idris as well has been a revelation in this knockout stage semi-final and the final in itself scoring the goals that has eventually won them the title one thing about this Nigerian coach is that he was part of the Nigerian team that won the first edition of the world championship back in the 80s and he's a coach now for them to win the Wafu Zombie hopefully he gets to lead them to the world stage and make that record of maybe being the only coach to win the under 17 as a player and the coach limping Williams with a trophy one two and Nigeria champions of the Wafu and the 17 zone B championship in Kepkos or hell the Golden Eagles deserving champions Kepkos 2022 champions yeah they've deserved it from match day one they've been brilliant they saw of Ghana 4-2. They went on to beat Togo 3-1 in the semi-final. After going down by a goal, they rallied back to beat 